morning, so it's 7 o'clock, uh, 7 a.m. And today we don't want to ascend uh, Ruku Pichincha, uh, which is the hill over there, that one. So for right now it looks really clear, good weather, but it can change any moment. So we're gonna try to prepare and go in like one hour and hopefully we'll get a good weather. So we're just packing and having a breakfast of cantaloupe and one sapodilla, not so good. One yellow dragon fruit, bananas, and I'm gonna pack some potatoes with me. And uh, and that's it. Uh, and water as well. So preparing and we should go soon. Ready for ascent. So here we are in the Uber, which was late half an hour because he couldn't find our location. And he was taking us some weird side roads to avoid traffic. By the end, it took a longer time. So we had to wait a long time in a taxi for the taxi Uber. So bad. We waited like half an hour for Uber. The traffic was not even bad. No, he was, was he just he, he was just taking some side roads. So Uber was really bad. But here we are. So almost 10 o'clock actually. We should have been here at 9. So one hour late, but we should make it. Feels claustrophobic now. <laughs> so we have 1,000 meters of elevation from 3,000 meters to 4,000 meters. And we'll see how it goes. So we took this teleferico all the way up to the station up there, which is like 4,000 meters. And we started at 3,000 meters down there. You can see a beautiful view of Quito. And some people take a hiking route, which goes on the teleferico, like Robin from Vertical Addiction. But you save so much more time if you go by this teleferico, which costs about seven or eight dollars return ticket. See the vegetation has changed from trees like little branches here but the temperature is not bad it's pretty warm still we'll see how it's up there <laughs> Just bienvenidos a la Mirador de Pichincha. Here we it's go. exactly 10 o'clock and we just arrived to the top of uh, Teleferico and I think that's where we're going. Looks pretty fear fearsome <laughs> but we're gonna see how it is. Yeah. So it's uh, still a good day for views. We Still got lots of uh, lots of views and stuff. I think you can see even Cotopaxi from somewhere here. Oh yeah, that's a Cotopaxi. So we're gonna take a few pictures while we have a nice nice weather, and then we're gonna head up to the to Ruku Pichincha. Oh wow, you can see Chimborazo. Count. Count. Oh, I think that one. In the, in the distance, the little peak. So Chimborazo, then Atacazo is the one here. <coughs> then Corazon, not sure which one. Then Iliniza. Ilini those on the back, north and Those two, yeah. Then Ruminawi. Which one is Ruminawi? Oh, Ruminawi is probably the one 
over here through Minawi and then Cotopaxi of course Sincho Lagoa Sincho Lagoa Paso Choa that's where we should have gone that's I think there's a straight to that one Antisana is not busy uh, Antisana is the one straight near Cotopaxi oh no in the cold, in is also in the cold. It's a little bit colder, but you can see Quito. So much, so many houses and stuff. It's crazy. Tell me how the world is not overpopulated. Even in areas like this, where 2,800 meters. I look at the first station. Look at that. Crazy, eh? Everywhere. And it's just getting worse and worse. So let me just take a picture of Cotopaxi. Picture. So this is some church. Just put on balaclava because I cut my hair a few days ago and the sun is pretty strong. We're closer to the sun. Maybe the closest on the planet because this is the equator. So the sun is really strong here and would burn my neck. So the, the hands are okay. But uh, yeah, so that's where we're going. Doesn't seem so far actually. Uh, we'll see how, how much we can do today. Uh, how do we feel at 4000 meters? So the highest we've been was uh, Hilo Halukai. Okay? Ilalo a few days ago and uh, right now we are 4,000 over 4,000 meters um, I feel that uh, there is shortness of breath like there is not so much oxygen but it's not a, such a big difference and we got beautiful weather here so we'll see how we go there was another road going down there and uh, we chose this road because there's gonna be better view on the ridge a few years ago, 2008, we read that uh, people got mugged here. So basically somebody came here with a gun and was basically uh, stealing shit from people. And I even heard that some people got raped and shit. Not sure about that, so... Maybe some of the things are just like, he said, she said bullshit, but... Uh, but we read online that... Uh, and we heard from some people that people got mugged here on the trail. It's fucked up, hey? riding here but it's an animal cruelty walk along the path accomplish accompanied by a guide stay the starter route maximum 11 so we're 10 20 now return from the route maximum at 5 okay changing weather conditions if you get lost stay in the same place in case of emergency call 911 Use non slip shoes, wear warm and waterproof clothing. Take with you enough water and food. Take a medicine cabinet. Take a whistle. Your responsibility outside of the trail. Let's First go. View of uh, Quito. And we're gonna walk along the ridge over here. So, we're living somewhere, somewhere over there at the end of the park. I'm not sure which building exactly. Cool view, and that's a Kayambe, um, the one in the distance. Um, you could see from the previous, and again Cotopaxi and Illinois.
Pachincha. Cruz Loma. Mirador Huca Pichincha. It's beautiful, eh? And Sakita down there. Wow. And see all kinds of things. Let's go. Looking at the forecast, it say up there should be like zero degrees, but and snow and raining and it's uh, none of that. Up here it's around 20 degrees, I guess, maybe 15 to 20, and I think up there it's gonna be around 10 degrees, the least. <sighs> Let's do it. For the first half an hour, we're just hiking on the ridge straight here, so you don't do much elevation, maybe 100 meters. And then it starts from the saddle here and then the most elevation I guess 300 400 meters it's from over there to the top you notice like a big rainbow around the sun two times not sure what it is it's quite weird it's like two circles Whew. that's beautiful view is in the clouds so far no problems with elevation uh, same like high tatras like if you're going fast up the hill you feel shortness of breath but I don't feel that much difference we'll see how it's up there it's amazing how they put these electric wires here in such a height it's probably with the helicopters hill and then one final ascent up to the top which is gonna be the, the hardest I guess um, see a few clouds here but I think we should have a clear view and also you can see clearly the Elizas north and south Cotopaxi got in the clouds and um, not sure what are the others. Um, that's the Ilalo. I've been two days ago, and of course Kayambe, and we'll see more. What <laughs> was that hill over there? It looks really high. Past bunch of people over there in their American.
you can see them here. <laughs> yeah. You can see Kayambe, it's really nice. Yeah. And I don't think now, but when we started the Patsy was really... Yeah, we also saw it, yeah. Nice, yeah. Uh, when we got from Teleferico, we saw it too. Mm. Yeah. So do you live in here? Just met some Swedes behind the, I think, missionary. Recording for YouTube. Ah, hola YouTube. <laughs> Recording from Sweden. No, not from Sweden, but. <laughs> yeah, you're from Sweden. Yeah. Uh, which which part of Sweden? Southern. Southern. Yeah, but oh, like the west part. Oh, nice. A group of Swedish guys. It's 11 19. And we see the animal slavery here. So bad. Yeah, poor horses, eh? Come over here. Hi. Hi. Getting closer. <laughs> Almost under the rock. Only a few meters. Under there. This is it, final part, the lava rock, oh, that's cool, so here you can go both ways, I guess on the left is more dangerous, I'm just gonna stay on the right. ways to get here you can get to the end of the Quito that way and look at this wow it's pretty sharp it looks amazing Deep on the right side here. Hold on. Leave this looks scary. <laughs> we also maybe plan to go to Mingo? What's it called? Yeah, Cloud, Cloud Forest. Is your your boyfriend is up there? Yeah, he's coming up. I was just uh, starting to feel like I made for us and was like <laughs> Okay, yeah. But I guess it's still far. This Canadian girl, she stopped over there because she felt the elevation was too much. I wish you'll find for now. So we'll see how... I guess it's 200 more meters, so we'll see how it goes. Look at this lava flow. Oh. Looks 
Marley. 45. We got to that spot where it kind of ends, but you can scramble your way. So it ends here, and you have to climb over this rock and continue here. Uh, it looks pretty gnarly from my, my spot where I'm right now. Uh, I'll try to climb over here. Is it bad? There's a drop. the elevation a little bit and uh, our pace is not as quick as at the beginning uh, but I don't think we have much to the top but there are some clouds gathering so hopefully we get some view from up there She was dizzy and headache and uh, we don't have much more to go maybe 20 more minutes or something we'll see I think it's the top so she get to the reach and over there down there. He told us it's just 10 minutes up. So it's not far. It's just 22 and we got the last push. That's yeah, 10 minutes. Feeling good still without shirt. Let's do it. Woo! So now I feel a little bit cold on my hands. So it's different feeling than down there. It's much colder. It's funny how the elevation is. He does the Swedish guys down there. So I think we took some harder route here. We should have gone there on the left. And this was a little bit harder scrambling and a little bit of climbing as well. So if you got to that point, you have to go around on the left, not like us here. So we are almost on the top. It's right here. I can hear the people. Oh yeah. Woo! Made it. Well guys. Hola. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> so good. Woo! Oh my god, it's so good. You made it! Yeah! Woohoo! 
can you try over there to go see what, what it is this is the official top I guess showing you the other side which is really steep but people also go this way it's called Pasa de la Muerte and you need some climbing skills to go up and here in the clouds you can see Guagua Pichincha which is a little bit higher than Ruco Pichincha I think some people actually go from down there. Wow. Crazy how big it is. Look at that. Also, this side is so big. All that is houses. Pitas with hummus on top of. Uh, Ruku Pichincha So on the way down we took another route uh, following the American group which had a guide so this was much better way to descend So we left the American group and now we're just sliding down the, the hill It's pretty much like skiing almost You can just slide down much more it's really much faster. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's pretty easy here. How is Sonia doing? They yeah, just keep sliding. Easy. Just keep going down the sand. Oh. <laughs> This is super easy descent. Yeah, how quickly we're descending. We're ascending this from here like in you know, a half an hour and descending like 10 minutes. Really good. It took us less than five minutes to get on the sand, so that's why the way down is so much easier. Cool. Después de amarse locamente, qué doloroso separarse. Después de amarse locamente, hace mucho tiempo me estás engañando con falsas promesas que no valen nada. Hace mucho tiempo me estás engañando. Going up right now from USA, Seattle. Not sure if he's gonna make it. I think he can make it, but uh, he didn't seem like somebody that's in good shape. So, let's see. It is 3 o'clock and we have one hour down on the top of Pichincha, which is not. <laughs> the top of Pichincha is after that somewhere. So, if you see that, like, it's one more hour from here at least. <clears throat> People think that they get here. And it's just here, but it's not. It's all sunny, all the valley, and only we have clouds here. It's kind of good because you don't get sunburned. About half an hour to an hour of descent, but I start to have headache, probably from the elevation. Uh, I'm staying hydrated and don't have much appetite, but yeah, I didn't have much. Sanya had the worst symptoms when we were up there. I was okay, but now when we're going down the hill, uh, my head a little bit hurts. It's good. Pretty much until here, it's not technical. Even the, only the last part is like uh, a little bit steeper, and then uh, the last part is total rocks, you know, moderate climb. But like. The elevation is the main problem here. If there was uh, this hill lower, it would be like so easy. So, the elevation wise, it's really hard. But uh, it's not that, not that hard hike.
we decided to head another way. So we'll see how this goes. Up, but now he's nauseous down. Oh. Yeah, on the top I was okay, Sonia was having problems, and Business. now it's the opposite. Mm. So we just stopped, him. and uh, whew, that's why I need to do acclimatization. Mm. Mm. Oh. How do you feel? Oh my god. So we are almost back there at the Teleferico uh, and I'm running down I'm running low on the battery on iPhone. So this is the last few clips and I'm feeling really bad here throwing up but uh, we are really near so that's why you have to do a uh, acclimatization to avoid um, to avoid uh, bad nausea like this so we are right back home i'm totally baked that's where we've been ruku pichincha the one in the middle oh my god and now i'm totally baked so sick so hopefully i get better soon i almost didn't make it in a taxi ride Whew. glad to be back how are you feeling well, i'm okay but i think um overheated yeah. that's what so, i feel, feel so overheated. just advice don't go to 5000 meters if you haven't been to 4000 before that's all yeah. I can tell you. Like, We've been to 3200 yeah. and that's not enough for this. You have to gradually build up. So, for example, if you've never been to... Uh, if, you, if you've never been to 3000... About 500 meters you should yeah. do every time. Yeah. So we needed at least another two hikes like we, before We've been this to one. 2000 meters before, so 3000 was for, okay for us. But yeah. like 4,000 will be now okay after being in Quito, but not 4,700. Yeah, so it's too much. Next time we have to do something around 4,000 something, mm. 200, maybe to 500, and, mm. and maybe gradually build up to 5,000, but that's gonna be hard. Mm. So hard. So thank you guys a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the, the whole vlog of, of getting up to the Riku Pichincha. And it was a great adventure, even though I was suffering at the end. At least I, I know like not to, ta to take altitude seriously. And we met lots of cool guys on the way. We so. planted some vegan seeds for the taxi driver. I tried to plant it just, in Spanish, it was, was very just sleeping challenging. in an Uber. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, so get out there. And as always, stay healthy and stay adventurous. <laughs>